Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the FRC 4607 CIS podcast. My name is Kayla. I'm a lead of the Impact and Outreach Department, and I'm a senior. My name's Noel. I am also a senior, and I am a lead of the Business Department. My name is Noah, and I'm also a senior, and also a co-lead of the Business Department. So if you're watching the podcast, um, you can probably see that Noah has a bandana on his head. If you cannot, uh, Noah is currently wearing a gray shirt with a blue bandana tied across his head like he's in the... uh, hit show survivor <laughs> and this is because this week we are celebrating our snow days festival here at the high school do you want to talk about your experience noah and why you're wearing a blue bandana yeah um it's been a really weird couple days that's all i have to say what have you done in the past couple of days so um on last last friday we had a pep fest with the whole school and we played tug of war and we also played human hungry hungry hippos mm-hmm. yeah were they like collected a bunch of balls with like a basket and um the entire school was watching and he's representing student council we have like representatives from every activity here in becker that includes like sports and other activities so we actually also have a robotics representative greg headley shout out to greg um do you have any points right now um yeah i mean i think everybody has points because with the dress up days and everything noelle what have, what has your experience been in watching the snow days i don't know watching like i didn't get to watch the pep oh, yeah. fest unfortunately but watching musical mm-hmm. was an experience yeah we did if i should probably also establish that noah is our treasurer for our student council and i'm the president for becker student council so and usually whenever we have like robotics or whenever we have student council <laughs> events It's always the robotics kids who are showing up. You're not even, Noelle isn't even in robotics. Or sorry, not robotics. (laughs) Student council, obviously Noelle's in robotics. But Noelle's not in student council. Neither is, who else? Who else has helped us with stuff? Like even Greg. No, Greg is in student council. He's barely in student council. He barely, I don't, I think he should be kicked off student council. He never shows up. Is that slander to him? No, because the thing is, he's, he doesn't show up to meetings, but he still helps out. I love Greg. How do you think he's doing as our robotics representative? I think he's doing pretty good. He could be doing better. I beat him in musical chairs today, so he did. there's that. There was like a there was a lot of people there. It, yes. We're talking like a room full of what, like a hundred people minimum, maybe yeah. 150, watching a, a group of like 15 seniors yep. fight over chairs. Yep. It like was a, very intense. Yeah, I, it was pretty good. I was not expecting musical chairs to be that to be that intense, but it it very definitely was. Speaking of chairs. Do you know the Home Depot effect? The Home Depot effect? No, can you explain more? Have we more? talked about this? Oh, we've talked about the Home Depot. So, um, there is a, I feel like this, this is something that is shared across every individual in at some point of time in their <laughs> life, but there's never a name for it. I tried looking it up. Ever since I was little, I would go into a store, similar, like it'd be like a Home Depot, a Marshalls, um, like a Walmart too. And I shopped at Walmart a lot. And I would go in and I would just feel like, why the lights are weird? The space is weird. It was like liminal space vibes, but not quite. And it's like, it's hot in here. And like, do you guys experience this? Yeah. Somewhat. Can you explain why it's so weird? Because I don't fully understand that. It's, what's a good analogy for this? It's like if you, it's like, it's just really hot. A lot of the time it's really hot and the lights are just weird. And so you're going into a space that's very weird, like a weird environment to it. Mm -hmm. Like you go from the sun, let's say it's a (laughs) summer day. It's a great, beautiful summer day. And you're going from outside, inside, into a Home Depot. Is that not like, just like the most, it's sad? It is kind of sad. And who, I don't know. I'm gonna have to say, I really, you've lost me here. I don't fully understand what you're saying. You don't experience this with anything else? I don't think so. I don't, well, it's kind of like the Home Depot effects, kind of like when you see faces that aren't like... It's not like an actual person. Yeah, like the Mandela effect. Yes, kind of. You've seen the Mandela effect? That's not not quite what that is. Yeah. That's completely different. That's the Mandela catalog. Curious George (laughs) doesn't have a tail, right? He doesn't? No. Can somebody confirm this? I don't think he has a tail. Curious George does not have a tail. No, I have heard I don't think he's ever had a tail. Mandela effect. That's that's a whole other thing. I feel like that's similar to the Home Depot effect. Okay, the Mandela effect kind of annoys me, though, because it's just people forgetting things. And then their explanation is like, oh, some cosmic interaction. Interference, <laughs> different universes. Well, no one's saying it's cosmic. It's just. Well, what are they saying? They're saying that it's like a mis—it's like a misinterpretation from everyone. Oh, and some how people. Is that possible? Well, some that's people what 
it is. spin it as like yeah. alternate timelines. Yeah, Alter- that's that's the word. Yep. Looking Does Pikachu for. have a black tail or like black on the end of his tail? Does he? Isn't that the other one? <laughs> I'm just, yeah, like I'm just I'm one. giving you like a list. Yeah. Can you pass yeah, the Mandela test? Well, I think the the main reason I have or the main problem I have with the Mandela effect is the Star Wars one. There you go. Where people think that oh my god. <laughs> for for our viewers who can't see, Curious George does not have a tail. We just pulled a picture Never of him. Never had a tail. He's holding a banana. <laughs> He's opening the banana, and he does not have a tail. What is the Star Wars So the Star Wars one is... So what does Darth Vader say to Luke? Um, Yeah, yeah, no. He says, no, I am am your your father. father. Not Luke, I am your father. What's so interesting about that is, did you know that there's a lot of Star Wars merchandise that's actually branded? Mm -hmm. It's branded merchandise that says, Luke, I am your father. Because, and that's not the right line. Yeah, it's It's just more marketable that way. I I still stand with, I think that we need to go back to our roots. CIS 4607 needs to go back to our roots, and we need to make ourselves Star Wars branded again. Why don't? Are you into Star Wars, Noel? A little. Not as much as you, but which movies have you seen? I've seen all of them. You've seen all of them? Yeah. Have you seen the Clone Wars show? I've not seen any of the shows. Okay, what do you think about, like, everybody's seen it, and, like, some of the other ones. What is the best one? What is the best movie? From, like, a Uh non-fanatic perspective. I like the oldest yeah one. so like the the originals yeah the originals are probably my favorites now you Noah has a whole different story I was in my fifth my fifth grade class Noah was in it and in his class there was a day we would always do cahoots everybody loves cahoots it's always just a jolly day when you got a cahoot going on and we had a cahoot that day and it was based on Star Wars and Noah blew it out of the water I got every single question correct <laughs> I did not. I remember running out to the hallways and I was like, I'm gonna win this! Like, I love Star Wars! And at that point, I had just, like, developed a liking towards, like, the merchandise and the characters, but had barely seen any of the movies, so I started crying. (laughs) (laughs) You cried? (laughs) I was literally sitting there, because I I I remember running out to the halls, and I was like, you guys, like, this is my chance! I was a really weird fifth grader, I was like, this is my chance to shine! And I run out, and then I come back in, and I start asking, like, who's Jar Jar Binks? (laughs) I had no idea. (laughs) And he's like, what? Literally one of the most like iconic Star Wars characters ever. What is your opinion? You know who Jar Jar Binks is? What's your What's your opinion on Jar Jar Binks? He's there. Do you like him or dislike him? I don't really care about him. Noah. I would have to say that I think Jar Jar Binks is overhated. He's annoying, but he's not that. Why is he overhated? Um, Why is he not that annoying? He just isn't. He's just a funny little guy. The way he talks. Oh, we have a problem with the way people talk now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe I do. <laughs> I it's don't. Jar Jar Binks, Misa, Misa. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> like, why does he talk like that? So you don't like him because he's different. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying... Why don't you like him? Because he... People could literally just be standing there having a great time. Like, there's like a, an, a very important civic affair. I was told to correct my posture. <laughs> there's a very important civic affair um, going on between like the senator and like, like this decision is going to shape that what Alderaan is going to look like mm-hmm. not maybe not all the wrong yeah. and then he just like comes in with like a blaster and just like destroys everything and he's really loud he's really annoying and every <laughs> single interaction he had with Qui-Gon Jinn I my theory is that that Jar Jar Binks is the reason Qui-Gon Jinn died oh god <laughs> that's my theory why else would it have happened he's literally was one of the most powerful Jedi of all time he was amazing. He didn't get it. He barely got a character like story arc. He barely had anything. And then, but it, the whole time he's with Jar Jar Binks, and then he dies. That's a good point. And Darth Maul. Darth Maul. You know? Do you remember when we were in this? A lot of our, a lot of forty six oh seven members like are fans of Star Wars, but it used to be more like back in like I would say twenty, probably 2014, 2013, 2014, maybe even twenty fifteen. It was a lot more Star Wars branded because. The CIS stands for the Coalition of Independent Students, which is in re- like reference to the Confederation of Independent Systems, I think. Yeah, right? I think that's Pretty correct. sure. But it's a Star Wars reference, and our logo is the side of a TIE fighter. And a ridiculous amount of people like ask us what what that means, but we don't really do a lot of Star Wars branding. The only thing I can think of is we have like lightsabers that we wave around in the audience, which are getting <laughs> those are fun. Those are really fun because we can be like individually pointed out in an audience, but also providing lightsabers for a group of like 50 people including like the, all the mentors and like the parents who come to regionals and whatnot. It's a task. It's a really big task. Have you interacted? You, you've held the lightsabers that we yeah, used before, right? They're average at best. They fall apart really easily. And so last year, I remember I went to our electrical lead, Maddie B. If you don't know who Maddie B is, 
He was just a really funny guy who was on our team. And I was like, hey, Matt, like, do you think that there's some way you could fix some of our old lightsabers? Because our old lightsabers were broken and we didn't want to order a new one. And he's like, he's like, yeah, I can do that. No problem. No problem. <laughs> it just didn't happen. That's just, a spot on impression. It is. It's like the battery testing. It just didn't happen. <laughs> battery testing. We're getting a lot better with that it's, stuff this year. Oh, yeah. Year. No, like, they're doing good this year. Tremendously. But... People, people, like our battery testing. I know it's it's Michael and Michaela who work on with our battery testing, but that's all good now. But last year, like, I don't know, I feel like there was a lot of departments sent because of COVID that we were, like, just learning. We were, like, learning the ropes. Mm -hmm. Like, what were your guys' experience? Because you were, both of you were brand new to business, right? I was. Because the year before wasn't much of a year. I didn't I didn't learn very much. It was kind of trial by fire for both of us. I know like Noelle joined, you know, a little bit into the season. Yep. And I basically told her I was like, you know, it may it may seem like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. You know just as much as I do at this point. Yeah, both of us were completely lost. You know what trial by fire reminds me of? Oh, what? God. I think that today in our society, we need stronger backpacks. I took my backpack to the test this year. This year, I went in um, with a backpack that I gotten at the end of last year because my my backpack at the end of last year had broken severely. Uh, we're gonna display my current backpack for the viewers and we'll explain it to those who are just listening. This is a backpack from Delta. It's pretty sturdy, um, as you can see or you can hear. And if you turn it on its side, you can notice that the entire, the entire left, the entire left side of the backpack is ripping at the seams. Um, I, I'm not even kidding. Like, take a look at that, Noah. I've seen it. You can actually see my Spanish binder, my Democratic Citizenship binder, and a textbook falling outside of my backpack. And Jill, being the wonderful person that she is, suggested that we could sew this up, but we wouldn't have to have this issue if they built stronger backpacks. We wouldn't have this issue if you didn't just shove everything into your backpack as hard as you can. I don't. Pick this up. How heavy do you think this is, Noah? I don't know. Like, 10 pounds? Noel? 15? Probably like a solid 20. Maybe 15, 20. 15 on average. It's, okay. Yeah. Can somebody look up how much weight a backpack is supposed to hold on average? It's like that... ripping on the other side. <laughs> it's also ripping on the other side. And, oh, it's ripping really bad on the other side. Dude, your backpack's literally about to like. But we wouldn't have this issue if they built stronger backpacks. Do we have a result on the backpacks? The other thing um, is that you have way too much stuff in here. You don't need all of this. I can tell you that right what now. What do I not need from that? Let's go through it. A loaded backpack uh, should not weigh more than about 20% of your body. Okay. <laughs> and that's for... Um, I think that's like what's backpacking. For, that's for cross-country backpacking. Yeah, that is like professional Kayla. backpacking. What's, what is 0. 0.2 times 120? Do the math. Do the math. Zipper ASMR. 24. 24. 24. That's for cross-country backpacking. The point is, the point is... <laughs> This backpack is, on average, with two very reliable sources, 15 pounds max, and it can't even hold my stuff. How are our students supposed to pay all of this money for a new backpack? Every People keep telling me. People... How much did you pay for this backpack, Kayla? <laughs> That's an interesting point you raised. I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I actually got this backpack for free. <laughs> wow. But it is still a high-quality backpack. It was from a friend, um, and <laughs> it's incredibly broken now, and I can't give it back. I'm not really sure if they were lending it to me or giving it to me, but I think we just, like, solidified that answer. Because <laughs> there's not much I can do about it now. Yeah. But, like, I'm already spending a lot of money on, you know, like, gas and, like, trying to save up for college. And it's like, if your backpack is gonna... Have your backpack ripped? No. Oh, well, the zipper. My problem is the zipper. Is the zippers always come off the thing, and then I'm like, there's nothing to hold on to. Noah? You know what? I did actually just buy a new backpack, like, two months ago, because it had a hole in it, too. <laughs> the backpacks need to be tougher. Tougher backpack. Now. Work on it, engineers. Come on first. Are hot dogs a sandwich? Why would you open that can of worms? Absolutely. Why not? Do you look at a hot dog and say, wow, I am so thrilled to eat this tremendous looking sandwich. I'm never thrilled to eat a hot dog. <laughs> first of all. And then do you look at a hot dog and say, wow, that's a good looking sandwich. Do you know all? No, I will not. Okay, okay, maybe we should stray away from whether or not hot dogs are good. I think they taste good. I don't want to know how they're made because I'm picky enough <laughs> yeah, as you is. Yeah, you don't. You don't want. But hot dogs are not a sandwich. Why not? They are not because 
for one. Name one sandwich you put ketchup on. I'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, ketchup 1. Ketchup sandwich. If you're desperate <laughs> enough. There are no sandwiches that use ketchup, the condiment, as its main sauce. It does, that's not a thing. Okay? Hot dogs. You put tomatoes on sandwiches, though. But that's different than yeah, ketchup. is way more similar. processed. What, what does that say? The yeah. What's the definition of a sandwich? An item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or other filling between them, eaten as a light meal. Are they two pieces of bread? If you split apart the bun, then it is a sandwich. That's a strong if. Who splits apart the- They cut them pre-packaged. How is that a sandwich if they're not like- Because when they cut them, they do a terrible job every single time. It's like when you get a pizza and the slices aren't cut apart. So you have to get out a pizza cutter and then you need to do it all yourself. And then the cheese is really warm so it melts all over back again and there's no point. It's the same thing with a hot dog. You don't want to have to go to your, your little drawer, pull out a butter knife, and cut the hot dog thing in half if they did it for you. With that being said, if they do a terrible job at it, then that's the way the hot dog's gonna be. Therefore, it's one piece of bread. Subway does mm -hmm. Same They have a whole piece of bread. So are Subway sandwiches not sandwiches? <laughs> Do Subway sandwiches have ketchup on them? And mustard? <laughs> that's not relevant. And a, okay, that's and a not terrible relevant. Good piece, on some piece sandwiches. of disgusting that's looking meat. We already discussed that. It doesn't matter. It does. Do you know Subway sandwiches? The bread has an, enough sugar, I think? Yeah. Enough sugar in it to be considered as cake. That's like, why I love Subway. So, is it really a sandwich if it's cake? Thank you for backing me up. Bump me up. <laughs> bump me up. For all of our audio listeners, Noelle just bumped me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another good, that's a really good, if they, if they are, if it's considered cake, then what is a Subway sandwich? It's a lie. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. No. What is a Subway sandwich? Seriously though, if it's not, if the bread is cake, it's like a meat cake sandwich. <laughs> it's like a meat cake concoction. <laughs> I picked up a Webster's Dictionary. I picked up a Webster's Dictionary today and I was surprised by how light it is. Like when you see them in the movies, they look like, they look like they're gonna rip a backpack like that because they're so big. Yeah. But they're really not. How many words are in the English language? A lot. A lot. Here is another point. Think about the alphabet. The alphabet has existed for whatever. Really long time right like the english alphabet yeah it's used every single day obviously in, in mm -hmm. our language very important yep. i want you to think of the different patterns you see in the alphabet for audio people in a phone yeah. slid to us there are one 171,146 words in the English language. Wow. I was thinking there would be way more than that. And there's 47,000 obsolete words. What is considered as an obsolete word? Probably like, like old English, Shakespearean stuff. I guess that would make sense. But if you think about, I want you to think about like just the letters in the alphabet for just a second. We have O, okay? O is in the shape of what? A circle. A circle, exactly. Yep. Now you look at the letter A. What shape is inside of the letter A? A circle. <laughs> Triangle. Oh, like an uppercase. Are you good? <laughs> I thought that was pretty obvious. A. I thought that was pretty obvious. No. no. You didn't specify. Well. Okay, continue. Okay, a triangle is my point. <laughs> what are the three most popular shapes ever? Square, triangle, circle. Exactly. Are you in agreement with this? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we have these three shapes. Now we have these two. Where is the square? Where is the square used? Why is it not used in any single letter? Like you have these, you have these repeating patterns of shapes being used throughout letters but a square is not one of them how do you create a language with what 26 letters and a square is not incorporated in? therefore I propose we create a new letter <laughs> <laughs> you may be laughing now but you won't be when I'm rich <laughs> I'm listening I propose we create a new letter the pronunciation isn't exactly decided on yet but I'm thinking it goes ooh <laughs> Make it chuck. We don't have- We don't need chuck. We don't need chuck. <laughs> bump me up, Noah. Noah, just bump me up. What does that mean? For the audio listeners. <laughs> he bumped me up. I tried to. And he did a really bad job. But my point is, if we have this new letter, we can use it for any purpose we want. Any purpose? Any purpose. Any. I'm thinking what we do is we incorporate it instead of using emojis. Minecraft has gotten out of hand. I, I, agree. I agree. Yeah. Why? Enough is enough. Okay, I tried. So you know how like on an Xbox you can go in and like you can un-update it? Like you can go back to previous downloads? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can do it on PC as well. Yeah, so I did. Computer. I tried that. This is like old Xbox 360. Like we never play mm. it anymore, but I wanted to try just to see if I could do it. I tried. I went back too far. <laughs> and okay, so I would try and move, but I could not turn like the head. Oh, so like I couldn't go up, down, left, right, 
Like, I could just move forwards, backwards, left, right. It was not good. I think I messed something up. But what about the current Minecraft? Like, why is the current Minecraft bad? It's just, there's just why too much stuff. What? What is what is unnecessary in there? I'm mad they got rid of the nether towers. The nether towers? Do you towers? remember those? They got rid of them? Well, they, the okay, not, the, not those. You know, they had those little blocks where it was like... Yeah, the those, structures in yep. the pocket edition. That's yep. what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, oh, those were my... Okay. So for those, those, for, like those who are unfamiliar with Minecraft... Um, um, there's like different editions that you can play. So there's like Pocket Edition, PC, which is for computers, Xbox, PlayStation. It's obviously a very popular game. So they have it across all these different platforms. And some of the updates uh, advance further than the others depending on the platform. So if you go on PC, the computer, there's going to be a lot more uh, updates on there in comparison if you're going on Pocket Edition, which is on the phone. And it used to be very simplistic. There wasn't a lot to the game and everybody still loved it. And it's gotten to the point where there's so much in the game. It's like... It's almost modded. Like, it feels like it's modded. Mm. Which means that it feels like you're installing, like, updates or, like, upgrades to the game from a different platform. I don't know. I feel like it's too much. It is too much. I agree. I think it should be a very simple game. And it's not any. It's changed. As soon as they added, like, those sea temples, I was done. That was it for me. Have you played Star Wars Fallen Order? No. Or like Jedi Fallen Order? It's a Lego Batman movie. Oh, God. <laughs> No, seriously, people need to stop making jokes about this. The Lego Batman movie is actually one of the best movies I have ever seen in my life. It is one of my favorite movies, and it's great. One of our leads for media marketing just said that she's never seen it. Noelle, have you seen the Lego Batman movie? I haven't seen it either. Noah, have you seen? I've seen it six and a half times. Good. Good. <laughs> He knows. This is a guy who's got his stats down. This is who you want your business lead to be. He knows his numbers. Thank you, everybody, for watching the <laughs> FRC 4607 podcast. I'm Noah. What, what is this part? <laughs> what are you playing me for? No, this is like the, we would like to say, like, thank our oh. sponsors, mentors, parents, coaches, and all of the other people who help us out.